It's been about another 11 games for the Milwaukee Bucks. And I figured we will do the same thing we did last time. Look at each game. Give a quick little breakdown. Show our leaders. And overall seeing what the best team in Wisconsin has been up to these past few weeks. Before we get started with the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot for me in the future. And let's get right on to it. All right, after that wonderful double overtime win over the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Milwaukee Bucks went on the road again to take on the San Antonio Spurs. And again, we did not have Giannis or Drew Holiday quite yet in this game. And as you see by the final score above, we lost to San Antonio 111-93. to But there were some good moments in there. Our leading scorer of the game was Javon Carter, who when we get everyone healthy is going to be a great player off the bench. He had 21 points, 6 assists, 2 boards, a steal, and went 5-7 of seven from 3. Overall, a really good game. Rebounding leader was Bobby Portis, who had 16 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block. And then Brooke Lopez also had a great game with 19 points. Two blocks, three rebounds, two assists, and three of seven from three. Steals leader was came off the bench with Wesley Matthews, who only got two points off of three throws. And our only other double digit score besides Bobby, Brooke, and Javon was Serge Ibaka, who had 11 points off the bench. Not the greatest game in the world, especially as we only shot 27% from three, while San Antonio shot 38% from three. That was the main difference in the game. But when you're missing... To your two best players, that is not necessarily going to be the best game out there. And so after this game, the Bucks moved to 10-2 and two on the season. The next game on the Bucks schedule was against the team that handed Milwaukee their first loss of the year at home against the, against the Atlanta Hawks. And unfortunately, the same result happened with the Hawks being able to beat Milwaukee 121-106. to 106. A lot of it was done in the second and Second quarter in the first half, they're able to outscore us pretty well, and we weren't able to come back at all. But good news, we were able to get Giannis back for this game, and he was our leading scorer, having 27 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, but was really inefficient from the field when 8 of 21, but had 11 of 18 free throws converted. Our second leading scorer was Marjan Bochamp, who had a really nice game again for the rookie. Had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist. Went 7-9 from the field and 3-4 from 3. Our leading rebounder was Bobby Portis, who overall had 14 points, 10 boards, 2 assists. And our leading assist man was Javon Carter, who had 6 assists. He also had a block, 2 steals, 12 points, 4-11 from the field, which wasn't that great. Couple, the only other we had another player in double digits with Brooke Lopez getting 12 points, five boards, and then Jordan Nawara had 10 points off the bench. And another reason why we lost this game was our really inefficient three point shooting. We went six of 29 from three, which that is 20.7 percent from three, while Atlanta was 35 percent, and that was the main difference between the two teams. And then the Bucks went. To 10 and 3 after this, looking a little bit shaky coming off of our 11 game win streak to start the year. And we'll see, not 11 game, 9 game, 10 and 3. Duh, do your math right, Brandon. And so we'll see if the Bucks are able to bounce back. After suffering their first back to back losses of the season, the Milwaukee Bucks were able to rebound very well against, at the time, a very hot Cleveland Cavaliers team, winning 113 to 98. And it was really th thanks, thanks to two players. First one I'm going to highlight is Brooke Lopez, who had a fantastic game. Had 29 points, 5 boards, 1 assist, 3 blocks, 10 of 13 from the field, and 7 of 9 from 3. He was on fire this game. And the other player I want to highlight came off the bench was Jordan Nawara, who had 29 po 21 points. 6 of 10 from the field, 5 of 9 from 3, had himself a really nice game as well. Giannis 
almost had a triple double, had 16 points, 12 boards, 8 assists. Javon Carter also had 11 points, 8 assists as well, and a steal. Bobby Porters had another double double, getting 10 points and 11 boards. And yeah, the Bucks were able to take care of business. We shot 41% from three. And we got to the line a lot more than Cleveland did. We were able to shoot better from the field. We have more shots. And Milwaukee was able to pretty much walk away with this one because of Brooke Lopez. And the Bucks moved to 11 and 3 on the season. Unfortunately, the Bucks were not able to keep their momentum in their next game against the Philadelphia 76ers, falling 110 to 102. And that mainly came at the hands of an explosive third quarter for the Sixers where they outscored the Bucks 34 to 22 and we just couldn't catch up. Player of the game is Giannis Antetokounmpo who had 25 points on 10 of 22 shooting, 14 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, and a block. And then Bobby Porters also had 21 points, 11 boards, 3 of 6 from 3. Brooke Lopez 15 points, 4 boards, and Drew Holiday had a couple games off due to injury. He came off the bench with 10 points, 4 assists, and a steal as well. Not the greatest start game. Bucks moved down to 11-4, and people were starting to wonder, are the Bucks starting to slip a little bit? And time will tell if this team is able to rebound. The Milwaukee Bucks were able to bounce back after their defeat at the hands of the 76ers by beating the Portland Trail Blazers back in Milwaukee. 119 to 111, and the player of the game was definitely Giannis Antetokounmpo, who finished with 37 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals on 16 of 24 shooting, and he was just his old dominant self again. Other players we had, uh, Grayson Allen had 17 points after going 5 of 8 from the field, 2 for 5 from 3. A team leading 8 rebounds to go along with it. Drew Holiday had 17 points on 7 of 14 attempts, 4 rebounds, a team high 6 assists, and a team high 3 steals. Brooke Lopez had 14 points on 6 of 12 shooting, 4 boards, 5 blocks, and the only other double digit score we had on the team was Bobby Porter's had 13 points and 5 boards and 4 assists off the bench. And the Bucks also got Pat Connaughton back, who was able to score 7 points for us off the bench. And the Bucks are able to get back in the win column and look forward to moving on to the next games. Settling in the next game, the Bucks were handed their 5th loss of the season by a rival, Chicago who beat the Bucks 118 to 113. And the reason for this was in the third quarter, the Bulls outscored Milwaukee by a total of eight points, and that deficit was too much for the Bucks to overcome, eventually losing the game by five points. Player of the game was Giannis Antetokounmpo, who finished with 36 points, 11 boards, seven assists, on 15 of 27 shooting and went 6 of 9 from the line as well. We had four other players in double digits, one of which reached 20 with Brooke Lopez getting 20 points on 8 of 16 shooting, 7 boards, 1 assist, and 1 block. Drew Holiday had a team high 11 assists to go along his 14 points and team high 2 steals and 5 rebounds. Javon Carter had 2 points. Grayson Allen had 13 points and 4 rebounds, 2 assists. And off the bench, Bobby Porter had 9 points, a team high 12 rebounds, and a team high 2 assists. And George Hill also had 10 points off the bench. Sadly, the Bucks dropped 12 and 5 on the year after this game, and another one over win, loss, win, loss for the team. The Bucks managed to pick up their 13th win on the year and moved to 2 and 0 against the Cleveland Cavaliers by beating them 117 to 102 at home. Star of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo with 38 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, with 13 of 20 from the field, 2 of 3 from 3, and 10 of 14 from the free throw line. He was absolutely fantastic. 
The Bucks only had two other scores in double digits, with Javon Carter having 18 points, two assists, two steals, six of nine from the field, and five of six from three. And Bobby Porter's off the bench at 14 points, eight rebounds, four assists. Our other stat leader in blocks was Brooke Lopez, who had six blocks along with his eight points and four rebounds. Drew Holiday had nine points. Grayson Allen had eight. And that was pretty much it from scoring from our main contributors. And the Bucks were able to come have a big cover behind him after a massive third quarter when they outscored the Cavaliers 35-10 to and were able to pick up another win on the season. In a highly anticipated game between two guys aiming for the MVP in Dallas's Luka Doncic and Milwaukee's Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Bucks were able to pull out in front of a final score of 124-115. Star of the show, Giannis, who finished with a team-high 30 points and a team-high 11 boards on 11 of 19 shooting. Also had four assists and a steal. In fact, all of the starters were in double digits, with Grayson Allen having 25 points, 8 of 10 field goal, 7 of 8 from 3, and 5 assists as well. Drew Holiday had 16 points, 6 assists, 3 steals on 7 of 16 shooting. Brooke Lopez had 13 points, 4 boards, 2 assists, and 4 blocks. And Javon Carter had 14 points and 6 assists in the other starting spot. Bobby Porter's off the bench was the only real major contributor, having a d another double-double of 15 points and 10 rebounds, and the Bucks were able to get their second win in a row against a really talented Dallas team. The Bucks notched their third win in a row, traveling to New York to take on the Knicks and able to beat them by a final score of 109 to 103. Giannis, again, was the main man of the night, with 37 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists on 13 and 25 from the field, and 2 of 8 from 3. The other double-digit scores in the game were Drew Holiday, who had 22 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists. Grayson Allen had 11 points. Bobby Portis off the bench had another double-double with 10 points and 12 rebounds. And Pat Connaughton had 10 points as well. The other starters, Brooke Lopez had... Nine points to go along with his two blocks and six rebounds. And Javon Carter had three points and two assists. And the Bucks were able to get their 15th win on the season by just generally outplaying New York. In an early candidate for game of the year so far, the Milwaukee Bucks lost a close one to a Los Angeles Lakers team that has probably figured out how to play basketball again and... Sadly, the Bucks came on the short end of the stick, 133 to 129 against LeBron James and Anthony Davis of the Lakers. Leader for the Bucks was Giannis Antetokounmpo, had 40 points, five assists, seven rebounds. Big news for this game though was that Chris Middleton made his season debut after having a massive injury in the. Eastern Conference Semifinals last year. He came back, had 17 points, 7 assists, 2 rebounds on 6 of 11 shooting, and 3 of 4 and 3 points in 27 minutes. Drew Holiday had 28 points, along with his team high 9 assists and six had 6 rebounds as well. Brooke Lopez had 13 points, 3 blocks, and 7 rebounds. Grayson Allen had 8 points and 5 boards. And Bobby Portis off the bench. Had 15 points and 10 rebounds. Again, it was a close-fought game against a uh, L.A. team that has been really good lately, especially with Anthony Davis scoring 44 points for the Lakers. But the big news from this game is that Chris Middleton is back, and you're going to be cautious with him. But the fact that he's back and able to play for us is a key thing for Milwaukee. In the final game of this recap video, the Milwaukee Bucks were able to beat the Charlotte Hornets 105-96. to And that is without Giannis, without Drew, and without Chris Middleton. So that's, even though the Hornets are one of the worst teams in the NBA, without beating any NBA team without your three best players is a major, major thing. 
and it was all started with Bobby Porter's being player of the game. He had 20 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. Jordan Nawara had 17 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Brooke Lopez had 14 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, 6 blocks. This man is playing like a defensive player of the year candidate, and that is insane. Javon Carter had 14 points, 6 assists, 2 steals. Grayson Allen has 7 points. And on the bench, uh, let's see. I'm trying to pronounce Sandro Mamu Kalashivli. <laughs> I butchered that pronunciation. I had 6 points off the bench. Thanasis had 2 points. Grant Hill had 8 points. Pat Collins had 9. And AJ Green had 8 points. Overall, a very good win for the Bucks to get back on a winning track. And overall, in these past few games, the Bucks did did struggle a bit more. They came down to what we expected of them. A good team that will still lose every once in a while. They were went. Six and five in these games, but we had a lot of miss and match out of injury. Giannis missed a couple of games. Drew missed a couple of games. We just got Middleton back. So six and five is not terrible. And I expect the Bucks to be a lot better as we look at their schedule here. They have Orlando, Sacramento, Dallas, Houston, Golden State. Those are five very winnable games. I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to win all five of them. But yeah, overall, the Bucks are still on track to make the playoffs. They're currently the second.